Hello everyone and welcome to the Letters B. My name is Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to do a split screen in Sony Vegas. Before we start the tutorial though, I would like to talk about two things really quick. The first one would be that a couple of people have been asking me to change the program language of Sony Vegas to English for a better understanding. I've been trying to do that, but unfortunately I can't change the language properly. I tried it a couple of times and every time I changed the language the program was half German and half English, so this would be even worse than keeping it on German. I'm going to try my best to translate and explain my editing process as well as possible so I hope you're gonna stick with me. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the recent support, especially on the wipe text tutorial. It's really heartwarming to see you guys enjoying the content and most importantly acknowledge the work I put into these videos. I'm a perfectionist and I will always try my best to make the videos as interesting and easy to do as possible, so once again thank you for the amazing support. Now let's start our tutorial. The first thing we are going to do after we imported our two clips that we want to show side by side is to open the pan and crop window of the video that we want to have on the left. After that, open your calculator and multiply the width value of the video times 2. So in our example, 1920 times 2 equals 3840. After changing our width value, you will see that the size of the video decreased. The only thing that is missing now is to get it on the left side. To do that, we're going to adjust the X center and set the value to the original video width, so 1920. Besides that, make sure that you your source maintain aspect ratio and stretch to film frame is set to yes. Now we're gonna go to the second video clip, open the pan and crop window, change the width to 3840 and the X center to zero. As you can see the split screen works perfect, just keep in mind that if you have a different video width you have to multiply it times 2 and not just copy the values from this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support the channel be sure to subscribe, like and comment so I can actually see that I could help you. Any form of support gives me new motivation to create even more cool tutorials like this one. 